Good morning, everyone. What is going on? Thank you for tuning in to the morning show, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and follow me on my social medias, Twitter and Facebook. Those links will be in the description for you guys as well. Now, please like today's episode if you guys enjoyed it. Article solicit proof in the description for you guys as well. Backstage he on um, Blue Pants for her unique deal with the WWE. Now there are ton there's said to be ton of he on um, Blue Pants due to the nature of her working relationships with WWE, according to the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Now while Blue Pants Leva Bates has caught on a as a call of favor in NXT, a lot of de developmental talents resent the fact she is getting what is prevent to be a preventional treatment. If I said that right. We're, we heard the NXT announcer saying she doesn't even work here. And that's because she's not signed to WWE with the usual talent contract. Blue Pants is not working at the Performance Center, doing all the daily training. She sells her own merchandise and doesn't have to give WWE a cut. She permitted to work indie shows. She was flown to Brooklyn for takeover and as and was part of the big angle of the sh on the show. Something a lot of other NXT women would have loved to be part of and be involved with. It, wow. So this girl is not even signed to is not even signed with WWE and she's not even part of the company and she sells her own merchandise and WWE gets nothing out of it. Nothing. Not a not a 50%, not a 70%, not a 20%, a 30, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100%. No. Zero percent. They don't get nothing off her merchandise. So, I could, you know, this is what bothers me. If she's not, if she's not with the WWE, why the heck is she? Why the heck is she there? If she's not part of the WWE, she should not be there, unless she has a contract with WWE in NXT. Okay, now this bothers me. You know, there could have been. She was at the. She was flown to NXT Brooklyn for the show, and also as well as this, the girls back there at NXT would have loved to be part of NXT Brooklyn. But they weren't because Blue Pants, aka Leva, got into got into the got into the show, got into the pay per view. Now I don't like that. Okay, uh, listen, I'm not hating on the woman. I'm not hating on her. I'm not. I'm just saying, in my opinion, that this girl should have a WWE contract and. WWE should be selling her merchandise. It shouldn't be the other way around. I don't like that. I think that's wrong. Because, listen, WWE is a franchise company. Okay, they've been around for a very, very long time. And you guys know that. You know they've been along, around for a very long time. Now, that's awesome, you know, you know that she's permitted to work indie shows. Okay, that's awesome, but she's not, you know, with WWE. So there's a back, there's a lot of backstage heat on this girl, you know, and you know that's not technically. I think it's her fault because you know, and I think it's WWE's fault as well too because WWE didn't sign her. So, which I don't know why they didn't sign her. You know, if you come to NXT. You're going to be, you know, we want to send you to the WWE. I thought that's what, you know, when she, when I saw her in NXT, I thought she had a contract with WWE, but she doesn't, you know? So what do you guys think about this whole backstage cheat on her? Do you guys agree with me or do you guys disagree, you know? 
should WWE get a percentage of her merchandise sales since they're allowing her to come into WWE and wrestle at NXT? And do you think she should have a contract with WWE if she's there? Because in my opinion, she needs, she should be there. And ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and subscribe to this show to get more wrestling content. So, I don't know, man. I mean, this is crazy news. I'm going to keep you updated on what's going on with this girl, guys. And let you know what's going on to keep you informed. And the very dedicated man will let you know what's going on. Until then, guys, enjoy your morning. Later.